Hey guys, Kiguru here, and as you see, we're back in Sony Vegas. I know it's been a while since I've done some Sony Vegas tutorials, so I wanted to get back into these. And with uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I've talked a lot about basics and stuff like that. Now, I just and since we're starting over, I don't want to like lose anybody, so I want to get back real quick, just overviewing the basics and overviewing just the tools, presets, and talking more in depth about them because uh, I myself haven't used Vegas in a while. Well, I mean, I have, but I mean, I haven't really. You know, uh, I've been working on some new things, and I'm hoping to show you guys some more tutorials, so I've been practicing myself here. Okay, so, first off, let's look at the actual, you know, tools here. So, you have all these stuff, you can, you know, your project stuff, and all this, you know, create new stuff, and you can actually view the properties of your current project, whatever it may be, showing you your template, and, uh, some people, you, uh, you can actually change this for stuff, like, if you're rendering HD video, so, you can change it to, like, HDV, uh, or you can change... Uh, HDV 1280 by you know 720. You can mess around with that, and you can mess around with settings like here for your uh, properties of your current video or project that you're editing. Now, getting into the tools like this, snapping. So I'm going to take, for example, I'm going to go into media generators, solid color. I'll drag black. It's easy to see, and I'll drag uh, red. So snapping. If I was to enable snapping, sorry, this is getting annoying. Snapping. You see here, it kind of just snaps into place. Now, if you want precision, you know, type of uh, thing, you see that highlighted line where it shows right when I'm about to cross between into the clip? Uh, it really, you know, snaps into place. It uh, kind of lines up like a, according to these little grids right here. Now, if you take off snapping, you can freely move it. It's easier to move it. it doesn't, you see, it doesn't snap into wherever I drop it. It kind of just, sit, you know, just sits there. While I'm snapping, it just, you know, it's very precise. Now, now that's if you really obviously want something precise again you can always zoom in if you need to or anything like that auto ripple um... there's a down arrow for this if you want to mess with that but i just like affected i keep it to affected tracks auto ripple is something that's really cool when you're especially when you're doing cuts in the th video uh... for example let's drag a third color and you're like blue and i'm just gonna okay so let's say i make a, it's like a stream of colors here let's say i make a cut right there and then i make a cut right here and I want to put this in between, but you see I have to move this all around again. It gets hard to, you know, move around and all this stuff. It may get annoying. And let's say I really don't want to affect whatever's in, you know, I want to move this clip down, but I don't want to affect these clips right here. So if I was to move this clip, you know, down on the timeline, these would obviously, you know, I'd have to go like this and move it around. Auto ripple, if we enable this, it moves everything behind the clip. So, um,. It's really, really handy in many situations. I mean, I don't have enough time to explain a lot of them, but if I was to move, if I want to move this clip down to a certain time, but not affect, you know, keep these in sync too, you know, keep them all in one clip, I can just simply uh, take it here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click it. Uh, I can take it and just drag them, and they all move as one. Everything behind it, you can uh, change your settings right there. All affected tracks, all tracks, marker regions, etc. So Auto Ripple, very, very useful tool. So you might want to check that out. Uh, lock envelopes to events. Now this is, I think, is dealing with audio and stuff like this. Now you get into your audio tools and your normal edit tool. You always want to make sure you're a normal edit tool unless you're doing something else like the envelope edit edit tool. That's more editing editing the uh, points of stuff, certain you know very very precise type stuff. Selection edit tool, kind of the same thing, but you're just selecting certain media. So you see there. Uh, I like obviously just stay on the normal edit tool. Zoom edit tool. If you want to zoom in, you can click that. Uh, it's more. It's much more of a different type of zoom as you see there so I can click out and then mess around with that um, but I'm just gonna go back to normal edit here and just zoom and you can always of course so as you see it looks really much more different now because I use the zoom tool I'm not sure how do you let's see how do you zoom out is it okay let's see here okay so now I have to okay so you go like that you see you can drag along like that too and now I'm just getting really close so you can get really close, really far, you know, zoom edit tool is much more precise than actually just holding control and, you know, moving around. Uh, interactive tutorials. Now this one I want to show you next. If you're ever having a problem in Vegas and you always want to ask a question, I found these are really, really, really cool because they have common questions that are asked in Vegas, like how to record audio, how to fade audio in and out, how to cross fade audio, how to reverse an event, how to do a lot of stuff. And you actually, like if I just said how to add a backdrop, like green, that's chroma king. It shows me step by step how to do it, so I'm gonna hit next, and look, it kind of goes into its own little mode here, and I, you know, it's like just showing me what what to do and like what to click and everything like that. It's really step by step, so 
as you see there, this little window pops away. Um, so if you ever have any common questions, I highly recommend you check out interactive tutorials. It not only shows you how to do it, you know, one on one, and you know, just really that simple, just click by click, and you get out to do it. And you can always use the what's this tool, Shift F1 to see, you know. So let's say I didn't know what, uh, because I really didn't know what this was. I can hit Shift F1 or just click it. Uh, click this and then click that tool because I don't know exactly what it is. It's going to go to the Vegas online help and go find out what the tool is. So these are just some you know tools to check out, some tips to uh, get you ready in Vegas and you know just to explain all the tools to you. Um, of course, you have your project properties here as I showed you. Preview an external monitor. This is really useful if you want to edit on one monitor and uh, edit on. I mean, watch the video playback on the other one. That's what I do. Split screen view. You can change that if you want. Preview auto. Um, you know, a lot of stuff there. If you want the video to be at its best, I usually leave it at preview so it plays back, you know, just fine. You can mess with the overlays, uh, stuff like this. Like this one, I think this outer line is like for TV. If it's out, it won't show like on TVs or something like that. I forgot the overlays, but, um, people are always wondering how do you take a snapshot. You can actually just hit this button right here, save snapshot to file, take whatever current snapshot of your video is on right there. Um, as for tabs, explore shows everything in your media where to, you know, how, where you explore around to get your stuff. Project media shows everything that's in the project files or stuff that hasn't been dragged out yet, just stuff that's in the library. Video effects, simple enough that you know the effects. Transitions are transitions, and media generators are stuff like your solid colors, your gradients, your patterns, your text, stuff like that. Um, and of course, you can always move them around to your liking, up to you. Um, last thing I want to talk about is options, preferences. If you go into here, you actually me mess around with a lot of stuff. A lot of people want to know how to get Vegas startup faster, stuff like that. Um, if you don't use stuff like, uh, what is it called, media or something, I forgot what it's called, but there's a lot of stuff you can just edit around. So go through the list of everything, just check what you don't use, uh, and especially this general tab. If you don't use a lot of stuff, go ahead and, you know, disable stuff. As you see, I have a lot of stuff disabled, like joystick support pop-up animations and you know you can just remove a lot of stuff here and make uh, your Vegas that much faster and start up and stuff like that and you can mess around with all these other stuff so really go around and uh, get a feel of Vegas um, as for you know tutorials I'll be having a lot coming out soon just get the feel of Vegas by just dropping stuff in dropping random footage in and just trying to edit it and, you know trying to do new things I'll have some tutorials that uh, you may or may not seen before on the web but you know Hope you enjoy them. They're coming up soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little interview of all the uh, overview, I should say, of all the tools in Vegas. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.